Hey, Mr. Cinema Junkie here with my video response to Mr. Dre Knows Best video of top five shootouts. Uh, before I start, just want to give uh, give you pr mad props on picking uh, the Wild Bunch Peck and Paws movie. That was an excellent choice. And I thought I was the only one who ever heard of the movie Extreme Prejudice. I didn't know anybody ever watched that movie. Cool choice there, too, by the way. But uh, as for me, um, and there are a lot of shootout scenes, a lot of shootout scenes. And by its definition, I'm going to say that the shootout has to involve people shooting at each other. Because there was one I really wanted to choose, but it was more like he was shooting at everybody. Um, okay, so that might make an honorable mention, by the way. So on with uh, with my list. <clears throat> These are given in no particular order. One's no better than the other. They are, they're all good in their own right, in my opinion. Excuse me. Uh, my first one is the shootout in Tombstone, the movie Tombstone at the OK Corral, where uh, uh, Wyatt and his brothers and Doc Holliday are shooting it out with uh, the Cowboys. Um, that was an excellent scene. A lot of uh, a lot of cool shots, cool kill scenes, jumping in and out of windows. How could you not like that, right? Lots of action. Uh, the next one is uh, the bar scene, the closing scene in the movie State of Grace with Sean Penn. Uh, I like the way it was shot, no pun intended. I like the way they filmed it, uh, slow motion, uh, the bullet hits are done in slow motion, um, <clears throat> a lot of smoke, a lot of haze. It was just a very cool scene, very, very good uh, ending to a very excellent film. Um, the next one is the opening scene from the movie Shoot 'Em Up. Uh, that one was just a lot of fun. I mean, it starts off with uh, death by carrot, and then it goes into a full-blown bullets flying, everybody's out to kill this one guy kind of thing. Uh, a lot of uh, acrobatics and sliding around and jumping from roof to roof, and... Uh, a lot of good stuff there. That was a lot of fun. Really sets the tone for the movie. Uh, next is the scene in Boondock Saints where the McManus brothers uh, face El Duce for the first time. Uh, he shows up outside of a house that they, they're coming out of and they just start going at it. He opens up his jacket and he's got six guns. Just starts laying into them and they're shooting back and they're not hitting him. He hits like one or two of them, blows off somebody's finger. Uh, that was a pretty cool scene. I like that one a lot. And number five on that list is the ending scene of Scarface. Uh, right up to where he says, say hello to my little friend and blows the door off of there up until he winds up in the pool. Everything from there, from that first point to that last point, just excellent shooting scene. They're shooting him. They're actually hitting him, and he's still firing back. I mean, you gotta, you gotta love it. And yeah, I have two honorable mentions, so maybe I'm breaking the rules a little bit and adding two more to the list. But uh, one is kind of short, and this guy's kind of uh, just kind of escaping. But it's the scene in Reservoir Dogs where Mr. Pink makes his getaway. He's telling a story of how he got away from the cops. He shot his way out. Uh, he smashes the the glass to a car and drags the woman out of the window as he's doing that the cops show up around the corner and he unloads on them just da -da 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 -da, this rapid fire shooting at him and they're shooting back he takes one of them out and then he makes his escape not much of a shootout but high on points in style so I wanted to throw that one there and the one that I had originally included on the list but now it's making the honorable mention but still very cool, very intense, very, very neat scene. If you haven't seen the movie, definitely check it out. And I'm sure you could probably just find the scene on YouTube. In fact, if I find it anywhere, I'll throw you the link. It's the scene at Leo's house in the movie Miller's Crossing. Two hitmen come over to uh, 
take him out. He hears them coming up. He sees there's something going on. Uh, they take out his bodyguard. They walk up the stairs into his room. He grabs his pistol off the off the counter, off the night table. Rolls under his bed. They take a shot at the bed, which goes on both sides of him. And he shoots him. He shoots one in the foot and shoots him in the head. Uh, he runs through the house, grabs the guy's Tommy gun, goes out the window, uh, and he just lays into everybody and takes out a car in the process too. But it was such a cool scene, such an awesome deal that I couldn't go without at least mentioning it. So those are my five plus two choices. Uh, I know you said one through five, but there's seven of them. So let me know what you think of those choices. And if you haven't seen any of, the, any of those, check them out and then let me know what you think. Um, yeah, that's it. Those are my those are my choices right there. Okay, thanks.